we've all seen those pre-made toast breads in supermarkets. But most of the time, they don't really taste that good, do they? So why not try making your own? The toast bread can be used for various things, but if you make it yourself, it's definitely gonna taste amazing. To the big bowl with 500 grams of sifted bread flour, add in 7 grams of sugar, 7 grams of salt, and 2 grams of active dry yeast. Mix everything together, so everything distributes evenly around the flour. Now add in 4 grams of butter. It helps to incorporate it if you cut it into cubes first. With your hand or in a stand mixer, mix the butter into the flour well. Once done, the flour should feel like a coarse sand. To 300 ml of warm water, around 45 degrees Celsius. Add 40 ml of milk. If you're using a stand mixer, you can keep pouring the water mixture slowly as it mixes. But if you're doing it by hand, pour it in bit by bit. Once you've used up all the liquid and the dough has come together in sort of a sticky mess, leave it to rest for 10 minutes. Flour your work surface well and scrape the dough on top of it. Flour the top of the dough liberally and let's get to work. If you're using a stand mixer, you can add a tablespoon of flour and just keep mixing on a medium speed for about 10 minutes. Kneading by hand might take a few minutes longer, so just pick up your favorite technique and let's start. Flour your hands so they won't stick to the dough to make. It does not matter which style you choose, as long as you knead the dough for roughly 10 to 20 minutes, until we get a very elastic dough and it can withstand the window pane effect. This means when you stretch part of your dough so thin that you can see your fingers through it, it will not tear. If it does tear, just kneading it for a little longer will change that. Shape your dough into a neat bowl. Oil up the bowl and let's put our dough to rest in a warm place for about 2 hours or until it doubles in size. Make sure you cover the bowl with either plastic wrap or a tight-fitting lid. After two hours of rest, we'll fold the dough a few times and let it rise for another 30 minutes. In the meantime, let's butter up our bread box. Place the dough on your work surface and stretch it into a rectangle. Roll it up tightly and pitch the ends together. Place it into a buttered box and cover it with a lid. Let the dough rise in the box until it reaches the top. This should take around 30 minutes to an hour. It really depends how warm your kitchen is. Reheat the oven to 190 degrees Celsius. Place your box into the oven and set it to upper and lower heat. Bake it for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, take the box out, uncover and place it back into the oven for additional 5 minutes. Once you take out the bread, leave it in a box until it cools slightly. Then, tip it out of the box and leave it to cool completely on a wire rack. Once cooled, slice it into desired thickness and enjoy with your favorite spreads or toppings. Do comment down below what your favorite bread topping is. Leave a like and subscribe for more heartwarming recipes. Until we meet again! Bye-bye!